to April. So this video is for career and money in April for your rising sign specifically. You can watch it for your sun sign or any other part of your chart, but this video right here is going to tell you why you should be watching for your rising sign specifically, especially in my readings, but basically every reading concerning career and money. Um, the general readings are right here and that's what they look like if you want to figure out what's going on overall themes for your sun sign and then we've got our love readings that are coming up soon so if you like these videos at all please give them a thumbs up and subscribe so you know when the new ones are coming out don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're alerted okay so this month what is going on in career and money what does it look like in general is theme number one number two what do we have to look forward to number three what's going to be your biggest annoyance number four what do we need to look more closely at and then number five the general advice and guidance for the month of April. Let's get started. Scorpio, what does your career look like this month? And then what does your finance situation look like this month? Now, Scorpio, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, here's the deal. Is they're saying for some of you, it's going to feel hopeless unless you find your focus. Now, that could be taken two different ways. Because for some of you, it's like really take this time if you're um, working from home to dive in because maybe you'll be recognized for that later. For some of you, it's just hopeless because you're not working right now. In which case you need to find your focus in which area I want to find out, okay? And um, they're saying just find your focus generally. This is an opportunity to figure out what are you going to do next or, you know, are you going to continue on the same path, whatever. But either way for Scorpios, they're saying um, if you don't find your focus, this month is going to suck, to be honest. So um, maybe you have ADHD and you don't always take your meds. Well, this month you're going to want to do that. OK, um, so anyway. What they're saying in regards to finances is it's not time to walk away from something that you put time, energy, and love into. So maybe you have a little side hustle that you can't keep up with right now, given you know the quarantine circumstances where you live or something like that. They're like, it doesn't mean it shouldn't come back later. Maybe you have a specific investment strategy and then you see all these stock markets tanking and they're like, okay, but don't change it up right now. It's just not the time. They're like, you're feeling like you wanna make a decision so that you feel like you have control over something, but that's actually not the case right now. The best decision that you can make for your finances is not to really change anything right now, okay? Um, now, obviously, for for certain people, um, a more, like, a personal reading, given a specific circumstance, might be better for certain people. But for the overarching majority of Scorpio rising signs specifically, um, that is the advice here. Okay, so what do you have to look forward to in career and money for the month of April? In career, they're like a lot of detailed, focused work. That's the the devil is in the details for you. Um, and then injecting a lot of money, love, like a lot of love into money and finance stuff is going to be very important for you because if our vibration. Our vibrational frequency is not in alignment with receiving and earning money and retaining it and keeping it, then we're gonna have a hard time doing that. And if you go to my website, there's, um, you can look at, there's a little icon right here. Um, it's called freebies page and there's like little different exercises and worksheets that you can do there um, on your own time that you can just like print out or keep on your phone that'll kind of help you to shift your manifestation and your energy to attract what it is that you want in your life, okay? So what is it that is going to be your biggest annoyance in each category? And in career, it's like for those of you who don't love what you're doing, that's going to be really annoying, super annoying. If you can't find a reason to like really find joy in what you're doing, that's going to be hard. So how do we work around that? And they're like, some of you just really honestly can't right now. Okay, so if there's no workaround, what's the guidance? And they're like, if you're not loving, you don't have to love what you do if you love what it allows you to do, right? So some people don't love their jobs, but it allows them to love their lifestyle, and that's okay. But if there, if it doesn't allow any love in your life at all, like, let's consider maybe doing something else because all it's going to do is depress you further. Um, 
Now, in regards to money, they're like, this is actually a rest time. So what does that actually mean? They're saying, so, so now for some of you, this is a time where you're just not feeling very successful. It's a time of rest. I'm not earning as much given, you know, virus circumstances right now. But for others of you, this is like a time where you do nothing different, right? And you sit back and it's like money kind of just stacks up for you. It seems like there's a split in Scorpio rising signs um, and specific circumstances as to how this is going to go down. So a personal reading might be kind of better for Scorpios, whereas other signs didn't necessarily have that deviation. So what they're saying here is as far as action events go, what you can do pay a lot of attention to details if you're not manifesting what it is that you want in your life it might be because you are not at the right emotional vibrational frequency so go check out that freebie like it it doesn't capture you know how like annoying how sometimes like to download something you have to like put in your email address and all that fucking bullshit i don't do that i just want to give you like the helpful tools it's there you can just go grab it you just click on it and you have it um so anyway they're saying shift the way that you think about things because you really want to be nurturing yourself you have a lot that other people really admire whether you notice that or feel that 100 percent of the time it's the case you're super nurturing and people get a lot out of you um and from you and if you're not vibrating at your highest rate like other people kind of suffer too and that's not to make you feel guilty because how other people feel definitely isn't your problem but it's like we all want to see Scorpio Risings succeed and we all want to see you, you know, happy and content and joyful. And like this is this like they say like the next two months is kind of a period of time where you get to make sure that you choose that for yourself and you really put your own energy first. OK, so what do you need to look more closely at? They're like, what is it you don't love? Because if you don't love something, you're going to have a hard time manifesting something from it right? If I hate my job, I'm going to have a hard time really advancing in that career path, for example, really making my millions, right? Because when we're in the vibration of love, then awesome things flow to us. It's kind of like, for example, when somebody is having a hard time getting pregnant and they try IVF and they're getting all frustrated and stressful. And like, I even know this girl who like, she tried to like kill herself one day because she couldn't, she got her period. Like she just couldn't um cope with the fact that like she wasn't gonna have children okay and so then she goes off all these meds stops trying gets a pet now she's like in the vibrational energy of love because she's kind of released it right she's let it go kind of like okay i'm cool with not having kids i have this puppy that i love and all that love energy that's going into the puppy was enough to shift her vibrational energy and she got pregnant without like after being on years of ivf and all of this stuff all of a sudden, boom, gets pregnant out of nowhere, okay? And healthy, beautiful child. So that's my whole point here is like sometimes it's just like that vibrational switch. We can toll away, work hard, work hard, work hard at something that we don't really find joy in and be financially okay, but maybe not make like that huge goal that we want if we're not loving what we're doing. Energy flows to love, and so if you love what you're doing, you can't not make money at it, right? But, but when it becomes stressful or icky, then it's harder. And so that's the whole thing is like, let's focus on what we really love doing. And what we do for a living doesn't necessarily have to be something that we love, but we have to find something that we love about it. Whether that's our colleagues or, you know, helping others or whatever, that has to be there in order to get those bigger rewards, okay? So um, what is the general guidance and advice for you this month? And they're like, the, the biggest thing is to decide to be super, almost like harshly critical of your own mindset and ways of thinking in your own situation and saying, okay, here are the facts, you know, and understanding that luck always changes. But energetically, if you're not giving to something, why would it give back to you, right? So take like a very clear assessment of your situation and your relationship to your job and your financial situation. And then based on that, make according changes. So I'm going to be putting out a blog post in the next couple of days. It might be out by now. Um, you'll find it. This is what it looks like right here that tells you kind of how to shift your energy around money. 
Um, there's going to be a, just a couple different tips and tricks there. And again, you don't need to put in an email address or anything like that to access it. Um, the link is below in the description box. And I love you so much. I'll see you next month. Oh, 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 oh,